watch each other's back. The Destroyer wins in impressive fashion. Hey guys, Pebble 66 here with his a uh, little bit of Battlefield uh, 4 campaign on PS3. Now, uh, it's not about the PS3, it's not about Battlefield 4, it's about um, how I've created this video. And it's something that I've, I've found because I'm always trying to find better ways to render videos, to speed them up for one thing. That's one thing I've been really looking into. Now this video, you can see, it's pretty clear. It's recording HDMI with a view HD splitter and um, the live game of foot portable capture card which is a very good capture card so you combine the two recording HDMI you're getting true proper HDMI recordings and uh, it was my aim to find a program that can make the file look you know even better than the original with a little bit of sharpening that's just about all I've added and uh, a program also enables you to render really quick and this is not Sony Vegas Pro 12, which is my, you know, editing program of choice. This is Corel Video Studio Pro X7. Now, this 10 minute video, 10 minutes or so, it's just showing a bit of sniping on this uh, part of the map. And uh, I'm doing a live commentary over the top of it, you see. Um, it's not took long. I mean, you can find that you, when you render a, a video, and this is why I'm using it, you can render the video the same as your original project settings. Now, my my intro settings that I, I've you know how I basically rendered it in Sony Vegas is what I'm happy with. Now, the, the entire project will be rendered in the same way, so there's no difference, you know. And the main main um, content, you know, which is what you're seeing now, is um, rendered the same way. So and it's added uh, just a touch of sharpening. That's all all you need, you know. And it's uh, I have to say it renders in about a third of the time of Sony Vegas Pro 12. And uh, it's well worth um, checking out, you know. I could this this 10 minute video would probably take over two to three hours on my computer and Sony Vegas, but half an hour to an hour, maybe maybe less with the Corel and you not there's no you know difference in quality it's it's a really really good thing for that you know it wouldn't you say it's a, as comprehensive a program as Sony Vegas there's far more that Sony Vegas can be used for which they said shot lovely and uh, this program as its uses I was going to delete it off my system but I found that videos like this especially Battlefield Look at that sneaky bleeder, see that? <laughs> this uh, this video, this 10 minute video, it took absolutely no time to create. So if, you've, um, if you're looking into different editing programs, and then by all means, give this one a try, okay? It's uh, Corel Video Studio Pro X7. And uh, I guarantee you this, if you want something that will quick re render really quick, and is a good alternative to uh, Sony Vegas in that respect. Well, it's actually a brilliant, well, it's a much better alternative in that respect than Sony Vegas, I found anyway. If you've got a really top spec PC, I mean, don't bother because, you know, you can, you can use a GPU to assist in the rendering, things like that, you know, and it's, it doesn't really matter. But if you've got a slower PC, give this program a try, all right? Um, might as well, t I mean, I'm going to do this um, commentary. I'm doing it on the fly as I'm, as I'm making it up as I go along, really, because uh, there's a few things I wanted to mention. Um, my channel, for instance, it's, uh, I'm, I get one, maybe two subscribers in a week, you know, <laughs> so obviously I must be doing something wrong, but, uh, you know, I, I need some feedback from those of you who do watch my videos, those of you who do subscribe to me, you know, what is it you like about me, what is it like about the channel, you know, if you like my commentaries, let me know, if you like what I'm putting out there. It's not just about, you know, giving you advice on rendering and shit like that. It's also, you know, you know, I never seem to get in a game with anybody, really. I see this battlefield here. I always play it on my own. And I do okay most of the time. Depends on the server, you know. You can get in a server. It's that age-old problem. You start firing at somebody. They've got a weapon that's got a much slower fire rate, yet the same amount of bullet damage. And they're getting a drop. They're getting a kill on you. 
when you started firing first it's because I think in input lag, lag causes you to see them on your screen after they've seen you on their screen so you know they're getting the jump on you really you know, it's frustrating I might not be explaining it too well but uh, it seems like that's happening to me so you know I've been playing a campaign trying to unlock shit different stuff you know trying to outdo score my friends in, you know because you look, you look on your friends list in the game what scores they've achieved on a particular round of the campaign it's nothing more, more annoying when you, your screen keeps shaking when you're trying to get a steady aim he's out of there see what I mean he's out of there almost no no and then it's these magic grenades that seem to stick to your ass, you know but at least for this game y you don't get the um, the one thing I hate about Killzone 2 and I'm a big fan of Killzone 2 as you probably know is the grenade deaths you know you hear bang bang especially when you're playing against the bots because you know because it's computerized and they're not human players don't get me wrong, human players kill you plenty of time with, with grenade, but you expect it because they're throwing them all over the place. But the bots throw them in such a way when you're thinking, what the fuck? <laughs> How the hell did he go? A perfect precision throw from there, miles away, and land stri straight at your feet and explode at the exact right time, you know? And you, and you don't see him cooking the bleeding thing. when, when You know, you're supposed to cook the grenade to make it explode quicker when it you know it reaches its des destination you don't see him doing it it's very very annoying let's take this out look at this you can't beat battlefield and, and i do i have missed it because i was a big battlefield 3 player real big fan of the game but it's still got that problem for me is that unnecessary times when you just keep getting stuck yeah keep getting stuck in the scenery I mean, at the end of the day, it's a video game. It's not a true life, is it? You know, I mean, they, they need to look at that. See, like, um, it's possible to get to the top of the, those rocks. Why not just let him run up to the top of the fucking rocks instead of having, uh, having to keep jumping? Drop back down a bit, jumping, drop back down a bit, jumping until you eventually reach the top. Why don't it just let you get to the fucking top? You know what I mean? It's, it's just a pain in the ass. Other games are different in that respect, like Crisis and Killzone. You go into a room full of rubble in Killzone 3, for instance, and your soldier just automatically moves over it. I mean, really big objects, yeah. You don't expect to move over them, but like situations like this in Battlefield, you have to be careful. Get out. But anyway, this is Corel. I hope you like the quality. I hope you like to, uh, you know, check out my other content on my channel. Um, what else? Yeah, trust me, this this program is really really fast when it comes to rendering your, your video files. So give it a try. All right, and watch the rest of the gameplay and uh, see if I can uh, snipe these bastards out of existence. All right, I'm Pemby66, and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and tell your friends about me because I want to grow just like anybody else. All right. Bye for now.
Getting out. 